Good morning to one and all present here. It is my honor to invite our chief guest, Honorable Dr. Justice A. R. Lakshmanan, the award-winning member of parliamentarians, Sri Arjun Ram Meghwal, Sri P. P. Chaudhary, Sri Sri Rang Apha Bharne, Sri Anandra Vatsul and Sri Hansra G. Ahir are on their way. Dr. Bhaskar Ramurthy, Director of IIT Madras, Sri K. Srinivasan, Chairman, Prime Point Foundation, and Dr. Sudarshan Padmanabhan of IIT Madras to come to stage, please. To begin this most sought after moment, let us all rise up for our national song. <laughs> Srinivasan, Chairman, Prime Point Foundation, Editor-in-Chief, Presence Ezine, Convener of Sansad Ratna Awards Committee to render his welcome address. Please, sir. Good morning to all of you. Respected Dr. Justice A.R. Lakshmanan, respected parliamentarians, IIT Director Dr. Bhaskar Ramurthy and my dear friends. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to fourth edition of National Seminar on Politics, Democracy and Governance and sixth edition of Sansad Ratna Awards. The first edition of Sansad Ratna Awards was started in 2010. Even in 2009, at, at the end of the 14th Lok Sabha, we started featuring some of the outstanding MPs who performed well in the 14th Lok Sabha. What prompted was, at the time the speaker Somana Chatri, Chatterjee in his valedictory address, he was uh, showing his concern for the frequent disruptions of the 14th Lok Sabha. At the time many of the media were criticizing the parliament and the parliamentarians. But we thought otherwise, our editorial team of uh, Ezine, we thought otherwise. We thought if there is a disruption, are we not having still some of the good MPs who might have performed well? Then at the time we landed on few MPs, including Sri Anandara Odisilji. He was then an uh, Amravati Lok Sabha member from Shiva Sena. He stood first in the question and he was an all-rounder and he is coming on the way from uh, airport. He is now any, any moment he may join Mr. Al. I interviewed him uh, in the midnight because he was very busy in the constituency because for the forthcoming elections then. Then in 2010 when I had a discussion with Dr. Abdul Kalam, he also encouraged the idea of celebrate democracy. Let us celebrate the democracy. Democracy is a hard earned one for us. Many of our ancestors have lost their life and struggled hard. We need to celebrate the democracy. How we can? Is this a democracy simple is our parliament. On one side we are criticizing the parliamentarians. But other side, we never honor or we never respect those people who silently perform. Many of the people may not know these uh, parliamentarians who are seated here. Many of the, our audience or Indians may not know who are they. Because they don't shout. They don't, they are busy with their own uh, parliamentary job. The constitution provides four duties to the parliament. 
what are they one is making law that that applies to all the parliament members i give four parameters constitution gives making law number two is supervise the government function lot of uh, 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 committees are there standing committee and other committees are there public accounts committee so many committees are there they are now sitting on the performance of the government number three is scrutinize and approve the budget that is a financial bill there it is the job of parliamentarians to look at the budget now fourth one is take the problems and take the cause of concerns of the constituency and the country these four parameters how do they discharge probably shinwas prabhu i was not there because i was busy probably he might have told there are a lot of other news are there that major three things are questions number how they raise the questions and number two is debates every member is participating in the debates 377 is there zero over is there they can even without notice also they can raise and even on the spot they can give uh, the problems constituency problems and private member bills you normally everything goes with the parties uh, line private sector the private members bill even across the party line they can even against the party thinking also they can put it even there are certain private member bills have been accepted by the government the reason to one is a land acquisition bill which was uh, introduced by hansraj ahir ji he is also on the way now he is already landed there and he is uh, coming now in the 14th lok sabha he introduced as a private member bill and again in 15th lok sabha he introduced the government accepted that they will introduce a government bill and it was passed now again the bjp government now the second nda government is making some amendments this is even a private members bills are very important this is a temple of democracy so we thought we can take the parameters of transparently the lok sabha secretariat and prs india they make open the uh, the number of debates and number of all points transparently in their website so we take the record from lok sabha secretariat and the prs india on three parameters one is private members bills number two is debates number 3 is questions and we also add attendance we don't give see much importance on the attendance only i have seen one mp from delhi in the 15th lok sabha he secured 100% attendance with zero debate with zero private member bill and with zero questions so his total tally was zero but his attendance was 100% that became a mockery i don't know what he was five years what he was doing it inside the parliament without even opening his mouth so then it becomes 100 but originally we started giving 100% attendance award from the second year onwards we linked it to the performance only okay whatever be the performance we did it so for the 15th lok sabha we had a three sansad maharatna that means who are consistently the word key word is consistently so many people were also asking what is the criteria which is a transparent criteria consistent performance in the 15th lok sabha mr arjun ra megwal who is seated here he is from bikaner he is he was an ias turned uh, parliamentarian in the 15th lok sabha for the first time he became a member and he participated in 430 plus debates he another credit is in the past 65 years the first parliament to the 15th parliament he stands number 1 among the debates i think i don't know who is going to break the record and i think i think i think, I think uh, the way in which it goes is uh, pp chaudhry sir uh, is slowly watching that and i think he wants to break the record of uh, uh, so far uh, uh, arjun ram we go so we are proud of you sir uh, 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 then uh, and see i have i have told then pp chaudhry he is also from rajasthan he is uh, now in the 16th lok sabha he has participated in more than 177 i think 177 or 177 i have put it in the uh, thing in the one year itself he has put so much of a debates participation then i don't know what will happen in the next year when he comes over here uh, I, and uh, abdul ram me call should keep this uh, <laughs> Uh, you know records uh, 
and that is the spirit behind this any time you know when the olympics uh, games are going you know normally the country which is to be watched is china in the same way i have been seeing the maharashtra and rajasthan they are the people to be watched and the largest contingent is from maharashtra every time largest contingent is a troop is from maharashtra i don't know how it happens you know in spite of all the political differences they have a lot of political shivasena congress ncp so many people they are fighting inside the parliament they are very well a very role model there the same way rajasthan also is emerging as a, one of the strongest states probably giving a threat to maharashtra probably these two states are going to contest with each other in the next sansad ratna seventh edition probably we may have a very great tie up so pp chaudhary next is uh, anandara vadisil ji he is yet to come here he is on the way he is a shivasena mp from amravati in the 14th lok sabha he stood number 1 among the questions and also for the total tally when i called him up in the midnight when i told him congratulated him for an interview he himself was not aware that he is a was a number 1 that is the you know that is the how they work because they themselves they don't count now only after our sansadritra introduction only everybody started counting it and that is the way they always go and do the job and 15th lok sabha also anandra vadisil ji has scored the number 1 in the questions and also in the total tally that's why they have chosen him for the sansad maharatna award for the 15th lok sabha next is hansraj gangara mahir ji kansra hansraj gangara mahir he is the person who who brought out the coal scam he is from chandrapur constituency again from maharashtra in the ji and he is from maharashtra and he has stood number 1 in private member bills he, he has introduced 31 private member bills in the last lok sabha probably because of the disruptions of 15th lok sabha many of his uh, private member bills have been lost and another very interesting information is hansraj gangara mahir ji and mr anandra vadisil ji both have done more than 52 private member bills among out of 375 the 15th lok sabha had only 375 bills of that these two people alone have contributed more than 52 private member bills so this is how we have chosen hansraj gangara mahir as a sansad maharatna award and he is also on the way he is now a minister for chemicals and fertilizers yesterday he had a program and then uh, from the morning he went to bombay from bombay he is uh, yes uh, flown here and he is landed and he is any time he will join us and they only for this uh, they are, that is the respect they give even the ministers and the mps they give respect for this type of recognition next is shridang appa barne ji he is again from maharashtra shivasena mp he is from maharashtra and he, he has followed the footsteps of mr anandra vadisil ji anandra vadisil ji is the fifth time mp and he is also first time mp and uh, and uh, pp choudhury is the first time mp so that if they are eligating we had this time for 16th lok sabha we have made three sansad maharatna awardees anandra vadisil ji hansra uh, hansraj gangara mahir ji and uh, anand uh, arjun ram megwal ji not only maharatna uh, maharatna we have requested them to mentor other new mps and also we have requested them to be the judge for the 16th lok sabha we have met in uh, delhi in the march middle of march and we have chalked out a yeah, parameters for 16th lok sabha more transparently for 16th lok sabha we have having three awards for general category one is for private member bills another for questions and another for debates and for new mp first time mp we have set up for total tally we have set up one award for women among the toppers of women we have set up a one award for the general category we have mr pp choudhury he has uh, he has top number 1 in the debates category and he gets another award also he gets the first time mp award he, he is uh, going back to his constituency with the two awards from uh, chennai number 2 shriranga pha bharne ji he is taking uh, sansad ratna award under general category he is also a first time mp under questions category nishikant dubey he is not here 
and he is the second time mp he is getting for private member bills supriya sule we have selected her for uh, women's uh, and she is also not here so with all these things with the transparent process we are trying to honor and i have one request to all our uh, parliamentarians here very quickly one is a question hour i have been repeatedly telling for the past 5 years the question hour does not belong to the parliamentarians zero hour does not belong to the parliamentarians it belongs to the people who voted them for power or the country man it is for a common man what i see many times in the all the lok sabhas that is the people immediately the adjournment motion they bring in you adjourn the question hour why it should be adjourned it is my hour it is not your hour you adjourn your hours after 2 o'clock after lunch time is the government time government bill you can discuss anything you can say adjourn or sleep or whatever you want but please do not please do not cancel or adjourn the question hour i have mr uh, uh, arjun ram megwal ji is the chief of bjp and anandra vadisil ji is the chief of shiva sena i am requesting through them to take up with the parliamentary affairs minister and the speaker of both the houses rajya sabha as well as lok sabha and rajya sabha please do not touch question hours let the question hour go where the question hour only we can bring out lot of things because they are all awardees of the question hour they know how important it is the question hour is and it is not that they are the very sincere like uh, the students uh, who are all sincere students because they in fact they are the people who are affected and not the only the people who are making galatas only they are not affected the good boys only will get affected when the schools and colleges are going on strike the zero hour is another important thing where they can raise the power the issues relating to the parliamentary or issues related to the state constituency and to the nation so also please do not number 2 and the e-signs has got another initiative not only sansad ratna award educational loan task force where we have been for the past 5 years we have been creating educational loan awareness even all the mps even our uh, arjun ram megwal ji also knows please take up with the finance minister that education alone all along is not good when we are talking about 2020 we need to take up the youngsters to go for a higher education and better thing so i will be writing to them separately please take it up on behalf of our sansad ratna team and on behalf of this conference we i appeal to all the parliamentarians to take up these two issues i welcome all of you and now i uh, thank all of you for having come over here and i also welcome all our parliamentarians having taken time here to honor us in fact we are not honoring them they are also honoring us it is the award not by any thing it is an award by the chennai it is an honor by the common people it is so that is a much more greater thing than giving by some other organizations so i welcome all of you thank you very much <laughs>